Lily, why can I hear your brother, but I can't see your brother? Tate! Tate, I hear you barking, but I don't see you. Did you get upstairs somehow, Tate? Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to have to find that puppers, guys, before he starts getting really hungry. We might have to take Sunflower up for a little jaunt. Sunflower, do you... Tate, there you are! Oh my goodness. Okay, crisis averted, everyone. We found the puppy. He was hiding inside of the peafowl's fountain for some reason. Also, there is a wiggling egg. Come on, get, get in my pocket, little egg. Oh my gosh. What is happening in here? There's just so many peafowl and they're up to who even knows what half the time. Uh, can I move this flower to get this egg? Oh my gosh, and I'm so full up of all of the clutter from cleaning the gardens that I can't, oh, there we go. Oh, I picked up the little egg, oh my gosh. What a busy time. We have just been so busy in the garden that my pockets are overflowing with nonsense. But hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and this is my good boy Tate and my good girl Lily somewhere in the back there. And we are currently upgrading the Peafowl Gardens! Which is really working out well for us since the Peafowl have so much that they need done that we are collecting many an egg while we are here and those eggs are turning into Zookeeper experience. And that experience- oh look there's another floating egg! I'm on it! Got it. And this experience is actually going to end up turning into some very, very special uh, jobs that we're going to be able to use to hire new people. I'll be able to transfer the experience into the help wanted ads and suddenly have more zookeeper sunflower. Have Leo, I'll be able to have more researchers for you. I'll be able to hire even more cafe gardeners. It'll be amazing. Also, thank you very much, Peafowl. That's a lot of eggs right here. Ooh, and another peacock feather. Wonderful. All right, let's wiggle our way over here. Let's see. I've got even more lettuce seeds now. Lily, I'm glad we know where your brother is. He should be safe. But all right, guys, I know that this project has like been taking a surprising amount of time already, but I'm hopeful. We've got a whole bunch of eggs for one thing today. And for another, I think today what I'm gonna focus on Okay, that hasn't propagated yet. But today what we're gonna focus on is trying to get the basics put down to really just move the back wall of this entire hedge fence so that we can make so much more space for our peafowl. I'm even thinking of, hello Serenity, hello Fountain. I'm even thinking of making another like protected garden space. We could even put it like over here uh, where we have lapis hiding so that you could come over and you could order something yummy from Flavia, like maybe some peafowl. Oh, hello, Flavia. Yes, I'm having a good time. I think somebody... Lapis, Lapis, you're pecking at me. No, Lapis, no, 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 no. That's not how we do these things. Um, but I'm thinking of coming over and working with Flavia to maybe get some Blossom Bloom tea, more toasted coconut. Uh, honestly, she makes really good bathing pears and basket bamboo rice, which sounds great. I have pumpkin pie, old pumpkin pie I need to eat for now, but still, it makes me hopeful to know that like we could expand Flavia's cute little cafe section too, and give her a private little cafe area, just like Cassie and the tiny little kitten. Laura, I, or, uh, I always, Leonite? Okay, Leonite's doing okay. Once we get her retrained, she'll be able to sit closer to Cassie, uh, who I promise Cassie, I will give you a window. She just stares into the greenery, and somehow I don't think she gets as much joy out of staring at leaves as I do. Ah, uh, but all right, so my goal for being able to do all of that is to get a lot of hedge fences. Um, and while we are over here, oh gracious me, there's a lot that I have in my pockets. Casey, I'm gonna try to trade you as much as I can in seeds, and then the peacock feather. And then I have a whole bunch of eggs already. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, we've got a little bit more that we can save up. One, two, three, four, five. We almost have six. We almost have another ability to hire someone to come and join our zoo. Oh, that's so exciting. I might hire the wolf researcher next because I know we need to get ourselves back over to the Redwood Red Wolf Research Center soon. Uh, let's get these. I don't need the chisel. Don't need that right now. I want to put another compost bin in, honestly, kind of with Casey, 
So if people, I'll put it back here. So if people just need to like clear their pockets out, they could drop something in there. And then let's see, move the swamp flowers. I'll keep the shears on me. And then I can move the torch. There we go. All right, and let's come over here. Hi, Lily girl. You're doing good, huh? We'll get a bunch of oak hedges. Can I make any more? No. All right. And let's go ahead and take these oak hedges and just kind of block off where I know... Oh, yes, more eggs. Wonderful. Where I know the pea fell. Oh, and another feather. Sweet. Are going to be allowed to roam out here. All right. So we'll line this up. Oh, yay. Got the achievement pretty. Always so exciting. And... I'll go ahead and put like a hedge around the tree just to be sure that they don't like do anything funny. And then, okay, I need to move this precious, precious fern. I love these ferns. And then I'm gonna move this torch because I'm kind of, I, I'm over that style of torch, but we can put a glow worm from the moonworm queen right here instead. All right, and there we go. So that'll be one end of the back. And then we'll have a gate right over here so that, should I make it like an iron gate? Hmm, hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll make it like a moss stone gate or a jade gate. I wanna make it a jade gate. We need to get some more jade ore and like make it some really cool looking sort of doorway. Oh, we could even use a doorway piece instead and like make a fun section for people to walk through. I might even do like a jade pillar in the middle so you have to walk through here instead to block the peafowl. And then we'll come on this side. There we go. Actually, let's scoot this over a little bit. Come here, precious, precious fern. I don't want to smush you. There. I'm gonna need a little bit more dirt to fill in a few of these sections, which is just fine. All right, and much nicer. Now, oh, and actually I can take the dirt that I'm standing on. Excellent. And we'll have to be a little careful now that I have removed some of our protective cover. Moonworm Queen, why don't you go ahead and have there a little egg right there. We should probably hire somebody that I can trade those glowing mushrooms to, but I could have- <gasps> The slugs! The slugs make the glowing mushrooms! I just remembered! They don't make the, the like red variety, but they make the brown variety of glowing mushroom. So, hmm, maybe we could have like a, a second slug kingdom somewhere, and they could help us out with that, because that would be pretty cool. Alright, let's do this. And I do want to be able... We're gonna push our way over here, cause ta-da! Okay, this is actually getting close. This is the pool that I wanted to like make a lovely little, um, lovely little like viewing pond that people could come see. And then we're gonna have a little path that comes this way because friends, if you remember all the way back in the summer when we were working on the gardens of Babylon, it led, like one of the things that we were gonna build is this. This is going to be transformed into the Temple of Tata. So we'll move Tata the Peafowl in here. He will have his own little temple where people can come and admire him. He will have a spot where he can look at all of the fish that are inside of our fish exhibit. Currently empty of fish. We'll have to fix that. Uh, fish that. <laughs> and then he has like a little pond over here too. But this was always going to be something special. We didn't know what. And now I know it's supposed to be the Temple of Tata. So we will transform it into a relaxing place for Tata the Trickster Peafowl to bask in all of his silliness. And then we will also make it so you can look out over the beauty of this little lake. And hopefully we will have lots of paths and bridges leading to the gardens of Babylon eventually, which should be a lot of fun. So I do want to have a path that will lead down this direction eventually. So we'll move these. There we go. There. And we'll make a little slope. And this could be a great natural doorway that we can utilize. 
to make it so that people can come and if they wish to see the trickster p-file himself they can make the journey to visit tata which i think would be really fun look at that oh that'll be so cool i've talked about this for ever and it feels so great to finally like have a little bit of progress towards it all right so let's put these down like so i have a bit of dirt we can use to even some of that out like so and then on this side i kind of like how cool that looks to like put some mushrooms in there but uh yeah we need to make sure the p file don't escape so <laughs> there we go and then we'll put in like a doorway here eventually so that you can step through here if you are not a p file i guess the p file should be able to visit tata the trickster p file um i mean that's actually a good point maybe we want the p file to be able to come this way i guess we do because they would want to be able to visit tata he would be the trickster p file god okay let's remove this and i guess that means we should make oh, oh no my oak hedge waste not want not I should bring a bunch of glowing tree stumps over here at some point. Actually, I should probably find another glowing thing that we could decorate in the jungle section, huh? We have glowing jungle mushrooms. It might be kind of fun to have like, hmm, hmm, not an anthill. Maybe like another type of glowing jungle mushroom? Like lots of mushrooms glow in the jungle. I'm trying to think what would be cool to just like leave on the ground and like have as glowing things scattered about so that if you wanted to be able to come and explore the jungle, you wouldn't have to worry about running into anything suspicious. All right, let's close this off with hedge fencing. Triple, triple secure with the hedge fencing there. And then we'll go ahead and close this off with hedge fencing and replace some of these torches with moonworms. Thank you for your service, moonworms. Excellent, excellent. See, and then some of these on the ground I want to replace with like, maybe some, oops, sorry, moonworm queen, did not mean to use you to dig. But I want to replace with maybe some, hmm, what would be a good decoration to put in the jungle as like, a decorative piece without being weird about it maybe just like a pretty rock of some kind hmm I'm gonna have to give that some good thought like if I went to a cool zoo area and they had like a really fun decoration that celebrated their jungle zone maybe hmm like a little statue of some kind, but I'm trying to imagine what kind of statue we could have. That's where I'm kind of bumping up on not being entirely sure. All right, we'll put the Moon Room Queen right here. Let me empty my pockets a little bit because we have so much stuff. All right, ferns, oak leaves, seeds that I'll trade. And let's make sure that Pfeil cannot escape this direction. So we'll actually move some of the marble and the stone up here. There we go. And then remove it from over here, just to be sure. Get rid of the vines right there. Excellent, excellent. Okay, we need to make sure that they can't get out this side too. So we'll add more to the blocks there. Wonderful, okay. I think that this is now p file secure, not over here though. All right, there we go. So now I think this is like p file secure and it would be okay. We could even add in those stone brick pieces over here to spruce up his little temple. <laughs> How fun would that be? All right, we can even move the torches out and replace them with glow worms to make it more naturalistic. I didn't expect to work a little bit on Tata's temple tonight, but I'm really happy that we came back here. And then the p file should be safe to come over. This is a waterfall that actually pours down from the mushroom island above them. 
but I think they should be safe to be able to come all the way out here now. And if they wanted to come visit Tata in his temple, they could, which would be really cute to like just look through and see the peafowl. They shouldn't escape back there. So now this is our area of concern. All right, let's see. Make sure that everybody is safe and happy. That's our goal. That's locked up. Hmm. I'll take this down. Moon Moon Queen, if you don't mind. Thank you, my dear. Take that down. But yeah, I'm kind of stumped. Decoration for a jungle section. That shouldn't stump me as much as it has. So, yeah, seriously, if you guys have some ideas. All right, and then this will lead to the beautiful Dreams of Blue garden. What did we call this one? Out of the Blue, the Orchid Garden. We need to do more gardens like this because this really brings the whole place to life. Oh my goodness. Maybe, ooh, maybe we could actually work on making like some little planters. That would be really nice. Like some little custom stone planters that also had glowstone in them. Can you use glowstone on carpenters? On the carpenter's flower pot? Can you do that? Oh my gosh. It, like very, very curious. Oh, look, there's a wild owl. Just hanging out up there. Oh, I love our world. I love that it has so many animals just roaming around like that. That's so cool. Ah, all right, that's awesome. All right, let's close this off to make sure that the peafowl stay. And I think we'll just go ahead. Do I have any oak leaves? I do have a ton of oak leaves. So I think what we'll do now to secure the peafowl is make like a little cliff like this. There we go. And then where the cliff is, to make it look a little nicer, we'll come in and make literally a wall of leaves. And then kind of give it a bit of an overarching tree look to it. There we go. Because every problem we have, every decorating concern, every consideration, over how we could make something look nicer can always be answered by plants, usually. <laughs> All right, there we go. And a little bit more, maybe to connect up this section. Oh, so nice, see, everything can be solved with plants. We'll even tuck a little moonworm queen in here, or a little moonworm in there to keep it well lit. Uh, all right, so inquiring minds want to know about the glowing carpenter, like if we can make the carpenters there we go flower pots glow because if so i could start decorating with like jade flower pots we could break out the really really pretty fancy stones and the really really pretty fancy plants and really start decorating everywhere in our zoo and have it well lit while we're at it so we're gonna have to test that next time for sure all the villagers are playing with my puppies again but for now it is time my friends after patiently lining everything up and actually very quickly putting down the expansion, we can free the peafowl. We'll have to see. Hopefully, we won't regret this. Let's do this. All right, come along, everyone. You may now exit out of your little home that you have been in for literally years. You have more room. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you, you scatter about. You no longer look like you are literally piled on top of one another. You will be able to thrive. You will be able to not escape into the wilderness because that will make things very awkward indeed. All right, let's get you guys out here. Oh yeah. All right, now I'm out of, I need another pair of shears. We're so excited in these parts that I actually need more shears. All right, there we go. There, what do you guys think about that? You're gonna have so much more room. It's gonna be so good for you. Excellent, I can even clear out these little, there we go. These little spots and this parrot is just like, oh my gosh, ah, parrot! I had an empty spot, I had an empty spot. I didn't double, triple check the security of our borders. Oh dear, oh me oh my. Okay, we're okay, we're okay, we'll manage this. Parrot's here. 
Okay, I have now used up the hedge fencing because I was in a panic. All right, they're not gonna go anywhere. They're not gonna go anywhere. This is fine. Oh dear, now the parrot egg is in my pocket and I have like no room for anything. <laughs> get out of here, I plant seeds. <laughs> I need those oak hedges, okay. All right, let's get this fixed. Nobody panic. Hello, parrot. Uh, oh, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Don't wanna waste the mushroom. All right, there's, okay, the pea are already laying eggs of joy, no doubt. And happiness, oh, look at them. They're already jumping around the place, how fun. I think that they're happy. I think that they're happy that they have like new lands to roam. Um, oh gosh, how to like fix this? <laughs> well, these hedge pieces won't work. All right, let's temporarily put down some of these pieces and hopefully that'll keep my p-file in here until I can fix this. But all right, there we go, guys. Look at this, holy cow, Lily, what do you think? The people like area has just vastly expanded. I kind of miss the wall of trees. That's my immediate assessment is that it was really fun to have the wall of trees over here. Uh, however, I will say it's got plenty more room for them. It's better for the animals. It's much, much bigger. They will be able to, oh, I, I have literally an open. <laughs> Siri, you really didn't think that through, did you? There we go. All right, well, I think this this will probably work out great. This will probably work out great. All right, Moom Room Queen, if you don't mind. Thank you. And I think that our people are gonna be very happy. We'll need to expand some of the pathing uh, for sure. And I think that I may actually remove the side borders along the path just to kind of give it an even more open air, like look to the whole place. But I am very pleased with how everything has gone. Uh, do I have any more room for all of these precious plants I have scattered to the winds? Hopefully. And we picked up a couple eggs and who even knows what else that we can trade to continue our efforts to, oh, hello, now there's some flowers. <laughs> to continue our efforts to try to get to the point where we can hire new people to the zoo. Aha. And I think we've really improved this area. It's really, I, I, I think it'll look great. I think if we especially remove the border on the path, it'll just make everything feel super open and inviting and friendly. Ah, and floating eggs everywhere. Still have those. Maybe we'll hatch some of these eggs to celebrate. We've got plenty of peafowl eggs for that. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This has been yet another big adventurous day, but I think that this will be a good thing. It looks a little weird now, but I think with a little bit more TLC, we will be able to continue to revamp the peafowl area. We will be able to gather up all the experience that we need to add those new people into our zoo, into our national redwood, red wolf forest. And we've really expanded on a bunch of the projects I've been meaning to do over here by getting it towards Tata's temple. So thank you all so much. If you could, do please leave a like for the wonderful Peafowl expansion. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.